Hey guys, welcome to video three of lesson 12. Is that right? Are we already on video three? Sorry. Yeah, we are. Okay. Um, I'm pulling up a video for you that goes with le uh, number two in your classwork. So make sure you're looking at number two and looking at the video as we get started. Let's see if I can move this. There we go. All right. It doesn't really move. Okay, here we go. Let's start the video. All right. Well, that was an entertaining video and it was illustrating for you. Julie paints birdhouses. She uses one fourth a pint of paint for each birdhouse. How many birdhouses can she paint with six pints of paint? Yeah, it's like a tongue twister. Okay. So we should start with a tape diagram, right? Let's see if we have a tape diagram right here. Okay, awesome. So six pints of paint. Here's our six, right? And she uses one fourth of a pint for each birdhouse, one fourth. How many fourths do we need? How many birdhouses can we paint? Because each birdhouse needs a fourth of a pint. So Remember that this tape diagram is helping us to understand the question, right? Um, it's not really a tape diagram that's going to help us solve. It's more like just helping us see what we need to do. Does that make sense? Okay, so we need to know how many birdhouses she can paint. All right, very good. So now let's make a tape diagram that can help us solve the problem and make sure you're writing notes on your book number two. Okay, so I made a tape diagram and this tape diagram needs to represent six because we need to find out how many fourths are in six. What would be our division problem here? How many fourths are in six? So six divided by one fourth. How many one fourths are in six? And since one fourth is going to be each birdhouse, then that will tell us how many birdhouses we need. Okay. Now what we did in our earlier problems was that we broke it down by whole numbers first, right? One, two, three, ooh, three, four, five, five lines, make six sections. Very good. And then now we need to break each of our whole numbers into four parts because fourths, we need to know how many fourths. So three lines will make four parts. So that's four fourths. That's one whole. We could almost count as we go, huh? Eight fourths makes two holes. Twelve fourths makes three. Three times four is twelve. Four is sixteen. Four times four is sixteen. Five times four is twenty. Five fourths, I mean four fourths, that makes five. And then six, six times four 
is 24. So if each of these is enough paint for one birdhouse, then we can see that 6 divided by 1 fourth is 24. And she can paint 24 birdhouses. And once again, does it make sense that our quotient, our answer, is larger than our dividend? Yeah, because we're breaking them each into four parts. So that would work out that way. Okay. Um, make sure you have this written down. If not, pause me, because I'm going to jump on to the next question, which is number three in your book. Looks like I better clear the screen. There we go. And let's go to the next question. Oh, our screen did not get completely cleared. Okay, well, maybe we can use that one. We'll see. Uh, Ryan makes bags of peanuts for snacks. Well, how nice of Ryan. Yes, he makes bags of peanuts for snacks. He has four pounds of peanuts, and he puts one-sixth of a pound into each bag. How many bags can he make? So first step is make our tape diagram. And this tape diagram is representing four pounds of peanuts, right? And one-sixth in each bag. So I'm going to break it into four parts, right? And then each of those four parts are going to be broken into six. Five lines in each. There we go. And yeah, I can go ahead and put my five lines in each, but we can also use multiplication, right? So I'm going to guess that if I'm doing six in each, each pound is broken into six and there's four pounds, then six times four is 24. Yes. Okay. So let's see. 4 pounds divided into 6. That would be how many 6, how many 1 6 are in 4 pounds. And like we said, there are 24. So he can make 24 bags. Make sure you write that as a sentence. Um, 4 divided by 1 6 is 24. Thank you for your kind attention and your hard work. If you have any questions, of course, come and see me. Aloha.